Unreal Engine 4.19 gives us a large amount of changes, some of them big, some of them small. We're going to cover some of the smaller changes to the UMG or the UI system. First off, we have our editable text, which you can see up here. Well, technically you can't see it because it's got no background and it's invisible. But it's no longer inside of our primitive section. Prior to 4.19, it was primitive. It wasn't really polished. It has received a polished pass. It's now in the input section. One of the notable changes is we no longer have a style section on the right. We now have the appearance and the behavior section better organized. One universal change to any of our input system widgets is we now have the ability to have the virtual keyboard dismissed action. Basically, when the virtual keyboard is dismissed, you're using this on a mobile device, for example, what do you want to happen? Text change on dismiss, text commit on accept, text commit on dismiss. So you have the ability to change what actually happens when you dismiss that virtual keyboard. And that applies to all of our input. You can see it here on the editable text. You can see it here on the input box right here. Lastly, one pretty large change is we now have a render opacity on all widgets. Prior to this, you had your color or your background setting or your appearance setting, and you had an alpha for the RGB, you had RGBA technically. So for example, this item here, let's go with a border. So this is a border item. And if I want to change the opacity on it, I'd have to find the right thing to change. So like I have content color and opacity. Nope, that just changes the content's opacity. We have our brush. Okay, our brush has a tint. We could adjust the opacity. Well, that's going to change just the brushes for the border. So you might have to link things together. In 4.19, we now have our render opacity. And this is actually on all widgets. And I'll show you in a second why this is nice. The render opacity will change the opacity of that widget and any of its children. And you can see that here. I can adjust it. The nice thing is you can also overdrive it. Technically, my border has a half value for the alpha. So if I overdrive my opacity higher, it'll actually become solid. We'll put this back to one. Now, the nice thing about this is it applies to panels. Your root panel itself has a view opacity. So in here, I have a border. And this border itself, I'd have to change the view opacity. But let's say I want to use something like a canvas panel. I have a canvas panel for my main panel, and everything else is children underneath it. You'd have to have set up a way to adjust the opacity specially because if you look on this panel, there's no opacity. We don't have an actual brush that's being drawn. With 4.19, we now have render opacity, so you can actually adjust the opacity on a canvas panel itself. Let's say this entire pause menu. And you can fade in and out or animate as needed because it's animatable. And that's it. That's a couple of the smaller features added in 4.19 to the UMG system.